Hello everybody, <laughs> it's a special day. Um, I have some disappointing news I will share with you, um, but if you're here, please say hi. We have a fabulous group of friends who meet during this live every week and you'll see, you know, people were chatting. I saw some people chatting before the live even started. <laughs> well done. Um, if you are new, we've had a burst in subscribers. Please get into it, comment lots, and make some friends because um, our current um, group is just a fabulous bunch of people. Anyway, Chris will not be doing uh, the cooking today. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. So um, I am going to go ahead and... I just know it was a joke. It's a, it was a joke. It but I just want to say, it we were reading the comments before I came on live, and you know, it just <laughs> it touched the cockles of my heart because your comments about you know needing the fire extinguisher and Christiane's got nine one one dispatcher in the family, um, and people saying they're waiting to see the flames. It just it fills me with so much confidence, and I feel like you know I can do anything with your support behind me. I really feel like I can take on any challenge. Dude, so you, you can do this. I can, can, I can do, do this. this. I can do this. By the way, Christiane is onto something. Look. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michael Rose and I was chatting to him today, and he said that I should bring a get a hose or a fire extinguisher. But our hose is attached to uh, the exterior of the house. So I can't do that. It may well come that we've got to put the exterior out first. But, but yeah, no, that's no, my it's, toy hat. <laughs> I will do a roll call. Yes, do a roll call. And see who is here. <clears throat> oh, by the way, before we do that, I've got some pasta sheets uh, just in case. One is in the oven and a pre-done one. <laughs> it's the backup just in case. So, we have got, let's go all the way back to the start, Mr. Marzi Mars is here. Oh, before we move on guys, I have to show you what Marzi did. Look at this. Marzi made me an apron. Look at this. And is so cool. And I'm going to show it up close because the resolution on a live camera is terrible. But, oh, it's not going to do it, is it? It will. Just don't dip it in my cream cheese. And sa sabotage me before I start. And look, <clears throat> it's even got the latest um, flour recipe on it. Can, you, can they see that? They can. But look at that. It's an awesome. The ketogenizing <laughs> queen. <laughs> Thank you, Marcy. You have been officially crowned. <laughs> the ketogenizing queen. So, Marcy is here. Mrs. Henderson is here. Christiane Fisk is here. Hello. Christiane's the one who uh, said she's got a county 911 dispatcher on hand. So, look, just thanks for having my back. So, uh, Marcy, Chris. And uh, Mr. Second person. So we've got Marzi, Mrs. H. Oh, hi, Mom. Chris, uh, Danielle Graves. Danielle, here. where have you? I have missed you terribly. How are you and the trucking company? Danielle is an old YouTube friend of mine. Um, she, she's like, she's just, she's a superhuman, if I can put it like that. She is in. Um, She's in trucking, right? And she has converted so many truckers in the United States to go keto. Um, the lifestyle, hard, it's hard, right? Because you're on road for long hours. And so um, eating habit, habits tend to be rushed. And, but she, she, is, she is changing. She has changed the community. So, Danielle, I'm really excited to see you. <laughs> well, Danielle says, hi, everybody, and good morning from the truck kitchen of a tractor oh, trailer in Oklahoma. See, I wasn't lying. <laughs> yeah. See? Uh, let's see. Uh, Lily Albright is here. Hello, Lily. <laughs> Lily says, uh, hello, everyone. Have you all got your fire extinguishers at the ready? So, oh, oh, can you see? They're all doing it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, no, there's been a big conversation going on in the comments. Uh, Judy Duran is here Hello. from Albuquerque. Hello, Judy. How are you? 
Chef Fat Grams is here. Hi, Chef. Good morning, Chef. How are you doing? Chef, I'm going to send you guys a picture. Please keep checking the community page. Judy made, Judy Duran made um, bread with her new Pullman loaf, she said. And she did, um, you know, the macadamia butter bread that I did. I think it was a four ingredient bread, but it was a big lot. She did almond uh, butter instead and the, it's like cartoon bread like someone drew it it's so beautiful anyway sorry <laughs> and she um she mixed her bisquick with the chicken uh blend and um made sausage cheese bites am i saying it right i think i am anyway anyway <laughs> Okay, so uh, Stacy Gabler is here. Hello, Good morning Stacey. from Chicago, USA. Oh, Chicago! Wow. Danielle Beautiful says, city. Hello, stranger. Long time no watch. Ah. Uh, Chef says, great to be here. Ooh, uh, it jumped. Sorry. Uh, da, da, da. Well, why don't I? Why don't you come start cooking? Because I imagine that you would be a little slower than me um and i can read the comments that's very presumptuous okay um yeah hopefully it doesn't start jumping all over the place for you but i've got nothing to do whilst you've got to mix your stuff but i need to tell them what i'm doing so i'll finish these and then i'll come back uh vic goddard is here oh vic nice to see you vic yeah you made it william spangler says i oh. feel betrayed that was because uh, what happened <laughs> because i wasn't coming on Oh. Cause you pranked everyone. Oh, hi Will. How are you? Uh, Stacy Gaber says, oh no, I put off laundry to watch Chris cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stacy, 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 you're going to be horribly disappointed. <laughs> no, we have to see this. Cheryl Tomlinson is here. Hi Cheryl, how are you? Hey y'all. Cheryl made a live. Young, Cheryl, young before we move on, um, Cheryl is the lady with the beautiful nail artwork of the USA flag who made the brownies out of the clean keto flour, just for reference. Uh, <coughs> yell, yell, I'm gonna butcher this. Yellen Key for, is watching from Spain. Spain, welcome, hi. Vic, Vic says, get the Barbie going just in case. <laughs> Marzi says, fantastical, thanks. Looking forward to another great live with you all. Susan uh, Cajun Dago is here. Hi Morning, Susan, everyone. how are you? <laughs> uh, Hope Hayes from Minnesota. Hope. Kisses Hope, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Judy says, uh, Lily says, sorry, uh, how lovely you are talented, Marzi. Uh, Judy says, wow, Marzi, apron's nice. Yes. Hope says, awesome apron. Awesome apron. Susan says, Marzi, great job. Everyone's loving on the apron, so that's, uh, that is good. Uh, Danielle has got burn cream on hand. I am going to leave it there, I think. You're going to leave it? Yeah. So shall we do swapsies? Yeah, we'll do swapsies. Okay. Hopefully uh, <laughs> that makes sense. Hi, everyone. So I am here, after all. Uh, and <laughs> I have my little list. It's got like four instructions. And in fact, it's got two instructions and four ingredients. So even I cannot stuff this up. But we shall see, shall we? Um, 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 um. I need this blender cup. So, I'm gonna start out. Why are you looking at me like that for? I'm not. I'm not crazy, I'm just gonna dry this off. Uh, so we'll start out with a blender cup, and then I have my instructions of three eggs. Now if you ever wanna see something awkward, it's me trying to crack an egg. I cannot do this. But apparently, a lot of people get put off if you crack the egg straight into <laughs> Sorry, the container. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> you put it in a bowl first, in case you drop an eggshell. Ah, it's all good protein. What's the... Oh, okay, well, I, I, Well, I have my pasta sheet ready, so I can in eat from that not, one. Uh, <laughs> not putting anybody else off. You mean crack it on here and then break it into here? No. Or break it into here? You crack it in there. You crack it in there, and you leave the shell here. Then when you've cracked your egg in, you put it in. Oh, that just seems like excess dishes to me. So we'll do it. We'll do it the guy's way. Okay, so you've got three eggs there. 
So I've got three eggs. Not, not a shell amongst it, thank you. I feel like I've done uh, extremely well already. While you're getting ready with your next one, um, Chef Fatgram says Marzi is the number one fan, Danielle. Marzi is an absolute legend. He's, an, he's, he's been so much legend. help over the, over the course of this YouTube journey. It's really, really, really appreciated. And uh, Danielle, thank you, missed you as well. Mary Ann says, I'm a silent subscriber, but I love your recipes. Never seen you live before. Well, Mary Ann, I hope you get to join the community and um, make some friends. Teresa Griffin, hi Teresa. She says, hello from Kentucky. Hi Teresa. And Danielle says, over 1,000 pounds lost nationwide among the trucking community. Wow. 1,000 pounds. You weren't kidding when you said she's been changing the world out there. Yeah. Marzi says, thank you, y'all. It was a little sign of our appreciation for these two crazy keto kids. Glad y'all liked it so far. <laughs> Chef at Grams, I'm doing well. Thanks. That's awesome to hear, Chef. Um, Mary says, all right, I'm watching from Dixon, Alberta, Canada. Awesome. Wow. Stacey, uh, Stacey says, I wasn't missing Chris Cook. Oh, and Ella. Hi, Ella. Ella says she's a little late from Germany. Hi to everyone, Mel and Chris. Carol, yay, Carol's back. <laughs> Hi, I'm back home now. So glad to make it. Hope says, I'm great. So glad to be with you on the live. Carol says, looking forward. Oh. Looking forward to tomorrow as it's my birthday. Happy oh, birthday, Oh, happy birthday Carol. in advance. Uh, Khan Vorish, uh, Carolyn says, hello everyone. Chef says, Mel's rocking that apron. Chris, you got this <laughs> so slow and steady bro. You're doing well so far, <laughs> Chef. Now you cracked three to, eggs. Now you have to finish the wrap as well. <laughs> okay, we'll... Um, do you, we'll break it uh, soon for more comments. I think Chris better carry on because we might be here uh, all night. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Look, I'm ready to rock here. I have, I, I have some flour. Uh, what, what's in this? That is the almond flour, um, clean keto blend. Um, I'll just get my trusty assistant here. The reason why I've given him the almond flour blend is because I have already, um, the ones I've done is with the CK flour, so we'll be able to compare both. So, so what's in this? Is it is this bamboo? Yes. So it's bamboo? Bamboo, egg white protein powder, gelatin, and almond flour. And almond flour. So the only difference in that and that is chicken, chicken flour versus almond flour. That's it, and it's the see, same measurements. I'm a, clearly a professional. So we should carry on. So I need four tablespoons yep it's a tablespoon four tablespoons of this now a tablespoon no oh has to be leveled off right i was gonna say and you fill the spoon like you've got spaces there good job that's good i've got four marks for that one so that's one Is that acceptable? That's acceptable. Let's see, we're getting this. That's two. Three. And seeing as I passed elementary school, I can count to four. There we go. So that's four tablespoons of that flour. I don't know if this actually comes through on camera, but I am actually really nervous about this. I know it's literally putting stuff into a, into a pot, but I don't do this. 60 grams of cream cheese, and I have to soften this in the microwave for 10 seconds. Good job. You broke that down. I was just taking out my second bit of pasta. Those look awesome. Is this supposed to sound like it's exploding? Yes. Okay. All right, we have our softened cream cheese here, people, and we are just going to slide that into our blender bowl. I might start narrating children's stories. Oh my God, stop the clock. Marzi has um, donated to the channel $100. This is strictly for Brother Christo. Thanks for answering our request. This 
is, is this Mr. Mao's comeback tour? Enjoy. <laughs> yes, it, this is all Marzi Mars's fault. Oh, uh, Marzi, <laughs> thank you, bro. That is above and beyond, my friend. It's awesome. Yeah, that's that's insane. All right, right and now have you got your ducks in a row? So. Yep. So I've got my eggs. I've got my four tablespoons of flour. I've got my 60 grams of cream cheese softened. Oh, a tablespoon of olive oil. And with the original recipe, um, if you've made it before, it was either almond, four tablespoons of almond flour, or uh, two tablespoons of coconut, or four tablespoons of finely grated parmesan, plus gelatin. Now we've left the gelatin out completely because there's already gelatin in our flour blend. One teaspoon, love, not one tablespoon. Oh, it says tablespoon. It says teaspoon. It do you have a teaspoon? No, no, no. I'm going to show you. What does a teaspoon look like? That clearly says teaspoon. That's half a teaspoon. Uh, he's got a doctor's writing, but that says one TSP. <laughs> what oh. are you doing? Where, where's the teaspoon? <laughs> you broke the teaspoon, bro remember? Did, um, you, did you see me break anything? Ages ago. Oh, so that. now... I have, this is my most treasured set of measuring spoons. It was $70, imported from the UK, name branded and everything. And guess who goes and breaks my one teaspoon mm. in the set? Do you, want to, do you want to tell them how it broke? I don't know how it broke. You, you can, I'll pass it here. I'll, I'll show them. So I'm cleaning the kitchen as part of my regular daily duties, right? There is a dish towel, tea towel sitting like this, which I pick up from the bench and go to dry something and the tablespoon went The out teaspoon. Of it. Teaspoon. The one that broke, what's this then? Half tablespoon. Okay, do we, are we going to update on where the teaspoon actually is though? It's in the bin where you, you know, remember when no, you broke it? Oh, here, a teaspoon I can use today. Actually, <laughs> you're neglecting your duties over here. Oh, okay. I'll just while he's doing his teaspoon, let me see, catch up on the comments. Helpful tip for you. We made a mistake here, but we're going to fix it. <laughs> yes, that's so innovative. <laughs> that's funny. It went from a tablespoon to a teaspoon and we had none left. Oh, you except the droppings that went in the sink. A teaspoon of olive oil. And that's it. It's weird to think that that actually makes pasta. Now, um, happy birthday to Cheryl Tomlinson, whose birthday is on Tuesday. Oh, happy birthday, That's Cheryl! That's wonderful. Um, <laughs> Danielle says truck driver method less dishes that way. <laughs> Carol says thank you Got to you, everyone and wishes Cheryl a happy birthday as well. Car Carnivorish Carolyn says. I live dangerously too. <laughs> Lily says, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. And Christian says, crack eggs perfectly. You got this. <laughs> with party <laughs> emojis. Ella says, good job cracking the eggs without the shells. <laughs> you see, we've been snaking you guys. I'm actually uh, quite a talented chef. I just hide it very, very, very well. Stacy says she's complimenting you on the perfectly cracked eggs as well. You did it like a pro, she says. And that. Beverly Cleveland. Hello, Beverly. Beverly says hello from Tooling or I think I'm saying it right, Texas. Oh, Carol says, where's your apron then? Oh, one moment, Carol. I want Carol, to... you had to go and do it. Oh, I successfully yes. got away without wearing one. I want to get my I, most girly frilly I one. I knew without even looking that that's what it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Come on in. How do you get into it? You just put your this over. Okay. Gosh, he, he's not the most he well, is it looks, awkward. It looks like a bra. It doesn't look like a bra. You need a bit more support than that. I know, <laughs> I think I rocked the hell out of this. <laughs> there, there has to be like is there a helpline I can call for the like just the abuse I take on a daily basis? So you make sure it accentuates. No, the, your frills need my to curves. stick up. Oh, okay. <laughs> your curves. <laughs> What do you think, people? Drop a comment. 
Now, after all of that, we have our mixture here on the blender, and how do we make this go? We go pulse or start stop? No, well, it's beeping, you see, so something's wrong. Oh, I haven't put it on properly. Hang on. Oh, so where's the camera? Everybody focus, he does this too. You know, like, when he's editing the videos, have you guys noticed, like, how, if I forget to turn the switch on at the wall, how he'll go and zoom in on my mistakes? It's just like, this is karma. Yeah, that is All karma. All right, you're set to go. All right, so now start? Yep. Sorry for all the noise, because the microphone is right there. But that is 10, about 10 seconds of blending, and we now have a, a nice liquid. <laughs> is this weird for you? It's very weird. <laughs> I'm actually amazed, I have to be honest, I'm amazed I've got this far. Aside from the tablespoon, teaspoon thing, which we'll just call a, a senior moment. Uh, other than that, I think I've actually done quite well. I haven't stuffed anything up yet. Yeah, everybody thinks you're doing well. So now, let's just straight on here. Straight in the middle. I don't know if they can see that. You might want to... Uh, I'll go, I'll go and... Um, tilt the camera. I'll go and check. Because if I tilt this, there is going to be a disaster. Can everyone see that? I think that's good. But now you need to spread it, so I'm just going to stay here for a bit. So, am I spreading it with that or that? <laughs> I don't think you want to put solid cream cheese. No, I'll, I'll take that off. That. But no, use that. <coughs> what the hell, mate? Oh, that was part of the the Exxon Valdez oil disaster that I had. Okay, so I am just. What am I doing with this? <laughs> Spreading it to the edges of to the edges, okay. The edges of the sil silicone mat. Exactly. Yeah. Or have I got some factory tolerance here? Uh, it is up to you. Does it matter if it gets a bit thin in the middle? Let's let's see how you go first. This is a work of art in progress here. I hope you appreciate this. I don't think I have enough. <laughs> it's not meant to be thick because you don't want thick pasta. So do your best. So more than this? Ella saying you didn't scrape out the bowl. <laughs> That's what. <coughs> and she's right. Ella. Yeah. Yeah, uh, come on then. Yes, everyone the is watching and scrutinizing your um, your technique. <laughs> so. Thank you, Ella. <coughs> Thank you for keeping me uh, keeping me straight here. There we go. Oh, look at that! Instantly filled the plate. Oh, this is much better. I feel like I'm literally just pushing it around and it's not actually staying anywhere. Is that good? Or do you want more than that? It's up to you. It's your pasta, right? So you, if you think that's a good job, then that's good enough. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Into the oven. Into the oven? Yep. Yeah. Right, put it back down. Yeah. And pull it right up to the bench. Here goes nothing, people. Right, you want to read some uh, more comments? Yes. Oh, I better oh, time. So Chef says his bamboo fiber comes in on Monday. Oh, well done. And um, Where did you get it from, Chef? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse um, me, I'm just going to set a timer. Mom H. For 10 minutes. Mom H says, well done, Mozzie. Um, jumped. Yeah, it was doing that before. Um, I feel like I've uh, horribly disappointed everybody. <laughs> There's no flames or anything yet. 
Carol Walker, uh, Stacey says, Carol Walker, you see him crack those eggs. He's cooking like a man. Men don't wear aprons. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Real men wear aprons. Thank you. Oh, Mad Vito 55 is here. Finally joining a live from Rochester, New York. Hello, Mad Vito. Um, her name is Marianne. So if Marianne, Hi, Marianne. Uh, joins us another time, we must remember that Mad Vito is Marianne. Okay. Welcome, Marianne. And Mazima says, your most Malcolm <laughs> Mom H says, I have faith in you. Stacy says, Bamboo Fiber exploded here in the USA. Thank you to Mel and a few others. Um, I had to order from Germany and had to wait until the end of July. Wow. Wow, it's getting further and further out. Vic says, a new Mr. Mel YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, oh, that's an evil laugh. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Chef says Amazon has it back in stock. That's um, good. We are also working. Must I say this? Yeah. You can, I think we can say because we won't say we're not what we're out, but anything. We're working in the background with a supplier to try and uh, get another vendor with plentiful supply of bamboo flour or bamboo fiber that we can actually get shipped to the states as well so fingers crossed it all comes off we should hopefully hear about it this week yeah or early next week um are you up to date well now i want to speak a little okay, bit I'll, about that i feel I'll that i feel that the current suppliers are um they're not they're not stocking enough bamboo flour that's my honest opinion so we want to get another supplier enabled on amazon us to um cope and to have stock for you guys so it's just going to take a little bit of time because we're trying to figure out how to do things um but yeah we are working on a solution because we're always going to probably need bamboo flour so it needs to be there. Marzi says, our chef says Amazon has it back in stock, Stacey. Yes. Uh, Marzi says, I caramba, bro, I'm feeling the heat in the kitchen, loving the love quarrels. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey says, shut up at Chef Fat Grams. I tried two weeks, finally found some from Germany, but thank you. I'm thinking it's going to be a miracle. Ah, oh, okay. Hope, Hayes, love you too. Your banter is so fun. Oh, thank you, Hope. Stacy says Amazon kept saying out of stock. Thank you again for next time. Yeah. Carol's laughing. Danielle's laughing. Uh, Carol says I definitely rocked the apron. Danielle says, trust me, if it was a bra, you wouldn't be breathing so easily. Rocking the pink, Chris. Thank you. I think it brings out my ears, Danielle. What do you think? Uh, Marianne? Mad Vito? Yes. Marianne says, April will make you improve your cooking. I definitely think so. Alice says, looking pretty good, dear Chris. Chef loves the picnic blend apron. Look, I, I think I'm going to brand this. The waist, the waist, the waist comes. Look, look, at this is ridiculous. The waist, the waist. Is that the waist? It's up by my oxters. That's why I said it feels like a bra. I oh, know, I jumped again. Uh, <laughs> Marzi says, Marzi did say something and now it's disappeared. So hang on a second. Oh. Are you all right there? Uh, I'm trying to compose. Marzi says, hey Mel, the logo sits perfectly. It does. Especially having taken a stab in the dark when the lining looks great if I may say so. I, I, I think so too. So glad there's been interest already. What about everybody in the room? I think, yeah, that, that's something that could really take off. If you might be interested, please let Chris and Mel know. I'll answer their curiosity. Let's go. Um, <laughs> and he says, looking hot, Chris, though. <laughs> let Chris and Mel know about uh, wanting an apron. Yeah, whether anybody wants to cook with Mel apron. So let us know. We'll throw it out there. Yeah. Hope says, excellent view. <laughs> uh, yes, Mel. Uh, Ella says, please grab the rest of the dough. Danielle said, trust me, Chris, mine looked like an explosion the first time I tried to spit it around neatly. It still tasted good, though. That, that gives me confidence that I'm on the right track. Christiane says, move over, Julia Childs. Chris is taking your crown. 
<laughs> he does look like Julian Charles. Lily says, good job. Uh, Marzi says, Mel, let's have a little peek with Chris wearing the apron too. It's all in the branding. <laughs> I would like to see that because he's wearing a, like a plain t-shirt. So I think it would go nicely with the black. Stacy says, I'm trying to talk my hubby into wearing an apron and making pasta. He's not as into it. <laughs> uh, Stacy, just take a screenshot of Chris. Chris's girl, girly apron, it might inspire him. Yeah, you can't look worse than me. <laughs> Lily says, when my husband cooks, he cooks all over on the counters, on the stove, on the floor, on the ceiling. Oh. That's... On the ceiling? Well, aside from the ceiling... Who said that? Uh, that, was, that was Lily Albright. <laughs> Lily? Your poor husband, Lily? <laughs> he catches her. <laughs> her husband's always in trouble. Yes, he's always... <laughs> Jeff says Zimmerman store still shows it in stock for me at least with a delivery date of July 14. That's where we got ours from. So Stacey says LMAO made a liar out of me, Chris. You rocked that apron. Ooh, Ella's asking. <laughs> now, I. Is, is oh, Ella's keeping you? No. It's, a, it's on the floor. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, 140 degrees Celsius. 184 Fahrenheit. 184 Fahrenheit. That can't be right. What? 140. Isn't it 140 sorry, Celsius? Sorry, 284 uh, Fahrenheit, 140 Celsius. For 10 minutes. Ella is keeping you honest. So she was asking what the temperature and for how you long. You see, a good cook always tells the <clears> temperature. <throat> I never claim to be a good cook. <laughs> Uh, Vic Goddard says, I can't find it in Canada, will you ship it here too? That's what we're trying to work on now, Vic. Yeah. Teresa says, my order of bamboo f is due to be delivered on Monday, fingers crossed. Oh, you got lucky. Uh, Ella says, bamboo fibre, dear Mel. Did I Not say flower yet. again? Oh, excuse me, please. It is bamboo fibre. And I also checked uh, the description box. <laughs> I have said flower... Uh, I have not said flour, I have said fibre in the right places. I always say flour. Uh, Anna Matovich is here. Hello, hello, hello. Anna, how are you? <clears throat> how are you? We're good, thank you, Anna. Hope says she would love a cook with Mel Apron. Nice. Grillin and chillin with Mojo. Hello, awesome people. Hello, Hi. Grillin and chillin. Hi. Let us know what your name is so we don't say Grillin and chillin with Mojo. I'm assuming it's Mojo. Mrs. Henderson, Mel, you are too funny. <laughs> Ella says, thank you, dear Mel. Thank you, Mom. Uh, Ron, Super Ron is here. Da -da 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 -da. Good Hello, morning, Ron. Mel. And everyone came in a little later. Well, hopefully you catch up, Ron, because it's, <laughs> it's been quite funny so far. Uh, Lily says, I have to use pecan flour in place of chicken flour, so wondering how that will taste. Um, you're just bear in mind. I haven't used pecan flour because the all your food is going to turn out brown. So just if you really want to use a nut flour, um, you can go with pecan, but just bear that in mind that um, your food is going to turn brown. So I don't know if that's going to put you off, but if it doesn't, it's going to be three cups, add three cups, same as almond flour and chicken flour, okay? Ron says he made his first cottage cheese pancakes and they came out great. Awesome. Danielle is losing signal, so she's going to disappear and come right back. Okay. Thanks Be for soon. joining us, Danielle. Hope you and come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hope you come back. And that's it. We're up to date. Okay. <sighs> and and we so have. I'm not going to interfere in this, so... <clears throat> Look, you can't interfere with perfection, okay? We have got... Oh, that was perfect timing. We've got 23 seconds left, so I need some oven gloves. Just, just to complete, complete the outfit here. Turn around. Like a low budget puppet show. Turn around. Marcy says we, he wants to see you with the apron on. Look, I feel like that was the most awkward thing in the world. Okay. Let me take these off. Let me stop that. Right. Oh, it looks 
Great. At least the waistline of this one will be in the right position. Okay. So. I'm going to see from Hang on. The there's something wrong with the. <laughs> with the thingy, my bob. <laughs> it's twisted in the oh, back. Oh, no, it looks really good. It's twisted. It Does it come be. apart in the back? No. Okay, we'll leave it as it is. That's fine. Okay. It's hurting my neck. Okay. All right. Here we go, people. Okay. I think the pasta is ready. Yes, it is. Okay, so. Ron says we're making a cantaloupe ice cream today. Wow. Lily says it is way too hot for me to do my dehyd dehydration of the chicken in the oven. So I have to wait until it's cooler to do so. Yes. That sounds very smart, Lily. Mary Ann says thanks Mel with your help uh, with my Bisquick mix. In the end, I figured out my poor measurements caused the error, made pancakes, and they turned out good. Oh, interesting, Marianne. I would, I'm so sorry, I wouldn't have picked that as, you know, where the problem was um, happening. Um, Lily says now he needs a bow in his hair. <laughs> you know, you're just our personal clown. I know. I'm <clears throat> busy dressing him <clears throat> in front of the camera there and <laughs> everything. <laughs> Send help. Judy Duran says I made the CK flower with pecan with pecan flour because I had it. Brown doesn't bother me. It works well. That is awesome to know. Thanks, Judy. How did it taste though, Judy? Um a pe a pecan flour is very nice. Is it <clears throat> but it's it, nice. like with chicken flour you get you can sometimes get a little bit of a little bit of a taste in it. Yes. I was wondering what the pecan um, like does it have that kind of nut undertone or does it disappear? I think it's 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 uh, it's less bland than almond for sure. Um, uh, reading out more comments, um, Marcy says, fantastic Mrs. H, great to know. Danielle, question, can we make chicken flour with freeze-dried chicken and freeze-dried beef? I don't see why not. Um, I think you can, and a lot of people are actually op opting to freeze-dry their meat. Um, Lily says, thank you to Judy. Judy says, apron looks good on Chris. Good job, Marzi. Anna, <laughs> Anna says, hey, Mel, I forgot to tell you that you are beautiful. Thank you, Anna. Oh, Chris, Chris normally gets the compliments. So I'm so thankful that you... Oh, I might have a <laughs> whole you, new fan club after today's efforts. Oh, gosh, here we go. I hope your head can fit through the door after this. Steve, oh, Ella says, looking great with his apron, dear Chris. And mom, mom H says, now that is a manly man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mom. Nah. Marzi says, yay, brother Krista, rock in that apron. Yes, Marzi. In with exclamation mark. It can make any of us look cool in the kitchen. That is I would not disagree with that. Judy says it tastes good because pecans taste good. Okay. Which is, yeah, I, I completely agree. Marzi, thanks, Mrs. Duran. Sarah Lynn Grooms Martin, uh, which is Lynn. Hello, Mel and Chris. Watching on road trip, not driving. That's awesome. So nice to see you, Lynn. And Lily says if you use nutritional yeast, it might mask the chicken flavor. So that is a great tip. Okay. And we are up to date. I think it might be how you do the chicken too, because the chicken that you do yeah. doesn't have a taste, but other people have said sometimes it does. It does it does depend on how you process. Um I found um I think I said this before, but I found that the way um African keto diet uh, does their chicken. Sorry, I'm they're speaking to I'm speaking to somebody and not on camera, sorry. Is that I found fun, that looks beautiful. Um, I found that the way African keto diet does theirs, it does reduce the chicken smell um, and taste. Um, so they just um, lay 
slices of chicken flat on a lined baking sheet and then uh, proceed as, um, you know, let it cook, let it dry out, put in the blender, grind it, put those grinded bits back into the oven, bring that out, grind it again, sift and you're good. So uh, that's the way I've been doing it recently. It, it is good. So back to back to the star of the show. <laughs> Thank you. Now, so after our 10 minutes is up, this, can you see that? Yes. It's not going to go anywhere, is it? This is what it looks like. Basically a pasta sheet. Now, is it hot to take this out? Um, you can. And then, yeah, uh, get rid of the baking uh, tin and then you can work with your pasta sheet. There we go. Does it just peel off? It does. It should. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Yep, I did. Can Hello. You, can you help me? One, two, three. Oh, I did it too. I think it's not cooked properly, is my guess. Okay, so shall I stick it back in? No, you need to let it cool. Okay, it's still gonna work anyway. Yeah, you need to let you need to let it cool. It's still um, oh, I need to go back in the oven. Sorry, it's letting me do things. So long as you're sure. No, I, I, I had to check it first. <clears throat> well, let me. Can it I fix, looks beautiful, by the way. Can I fix my cracks? If you if you are going to just bake it when it's just ready. You definitely need to let it cool down and solidify uh, before you mess with it. Um, this is, see there's no even brown edges, he hasn't like, um, yeah it's not even brown on the edges, so that means that it is just cooked, you've got to let it so cool. So when I asked you if it was done and you said yes, it Well when I do mine like that, when I do mine like that, I do let them cool and it looks great. Okay. What is going on with your neck? I told you it was twisted. Okay, I'll put it in again. Just a couple of minutes. We'll, uh, we'll hit a timer for a couple of minutes and I'll go check the comments. But you can see there's mine. There's mine. It's exactly as I said before. Um, all right, checking comments. Uh, Anna says he is okay, uh, but you are beautiful. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, Carol says, oh, you rocked that apron too. Thanks, Carol. Uh, Judy says, I'm going to use my chicken flour version for savory things and my pecan flour version for sweet things. Nice. Seems to both work great. That's a great yeah, idea. That, that is true. <clears throat> they both work. Um, <clears throat> It just depends, I guess, if you want to keep two sets um, of different flowers, and why not? Um, you know, it's great. Uh, Hope says it looks delicious. Thank you. We need to taste it, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, Cheryl says using ground chicken to make the flour worked great. Nice. Uh, Ron says looks great. Something will give it a go this month. Nice. Alice is, can I put more than one baking sheet with the chicken into the oven for drying dear Mel and Chris? I think possibly your second sheet that is underneath is going to cook slower, but I don't see why not. Just keep an eye on it. Uh, Chef said, Mel to the rescue, flip and peel. And then in the next breath he says, LOL, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, Lily is asking, will that go through a pasta machine? It will not, Lily. This, this is, we have pasta machine um, keto pastas available. I am going to develop a pasta recipe that is machine compatible. This one, it is meant to be, I'm, I don't feel like cooking or I'm late for dinner. This is from 
start to finish supposed to be um, maximum like 20 minutes. So five minutes to blend, 10 minutes to cook, five minutes to cut up your pasta. It's meant to be quick, quick, quick. So people say it does taste, it's a good substitute for pasta, but this is all it is. It is just a sheet. Uh, Ron is wondering if you can use this for a pie crust. We have used it for a pie crust and we've used it to make, um, you know, like filled pastries. We have a video on all the different things you can do with the sheet. It's not just, I've, I haven't just used it for pasta. I've used it even as, um, you know, to hold sandwich fillings. It's not a sandwich, obviously, but if you cut it up into a sandwich size, you can hold your fillings together. It's because it's so low in carb. If you don't feel like baking bread or anything like that, and you have this, you can use it. Um, but yeah, we've made savory croissants with it. It's not a croissant. It's just filled and looks like a croissant, right? So, um, I mean, if you look at it, you can do all kinds of things with this. You can lay your, um, you can line a, um, a pie dish. You can line little uh, cupcake things and fill it with, you know, maybe breakfast cups, all sorts. So there you go. Anyway, sorry. No, that's okay. So uh, Ella is saying if you roll the pasta, it's easier to cut. Yes, agreed. And Marzi is saying top job until now, bro. Thank you, my friend. Let's bring the show home now so we can all have a taste test. If everyone else in the room will join me for a taste test at Mel and Chris's place, drop me some love hearts. And he's dropped a heap of them. So has Christiane and so has Marianne. Wow. Paula Oyedele. Hey, Paula. Hello, Paula. How are you? <clears throat> says, can I come for dinner? Yes. You can indeed. Uh, Carol says, as a wrap. Can use it as a wrap. Yes. Can use it as a wrap. I want to meet Lily's husband. Because Lily says my husband would want to make a sheet big enough to use it for a hammock. <laughs> Lily, yeah, we want to meet your husband. Uh, Judy Duran has sent a super sticker. Oh, $20 US. thank you, Judy. Wow. Thank, thank you, Judy. you so much. Oh. She's also sent some love hearts. Uh, so has Carol. So has Cheryl. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are having fun. It's been good so far. Yeah. Uh, Carnivorous Carolyn is thinking, I uh, is saying, wow, okay, English, we'll try English. Carnivorous Carolyn says, I'm thinking lasagna. Yes, very good. Very, very good for lasagna. I'm just checking to see if I have browning. No, I don't. It should be good though. And maybe uh, we'll let your one cool. Shall I leave it till we do see some browning? Uh, no, because it's going to overcook, I think. Okay, <clears throat> so shall I take it up? I think so. Alright, here we go. Yours looks... Mine is... Awesome. Awesome. And this one is made with chicken flour. I feel like my, my comment on the things that I have seen made mm. with chicken flour so far is it seems incredibly sturdy. Mm. Like it made those uh, muffin things or little cake things mm. like hold a really nice shape. It's making the pasta really strong. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking um, chicken carbonara. Yeah, let it cool. It looks the same as before. No, it looks, it looks different. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks 10 minutes more cooked. <laughs> Must I turn this off? Yes, please. Okay. Um, if you are making chicken pasta, chicken alfredo, make the chicken blend with this pasta sheet. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. Mm. Judy says your lives are always fun. Thank you, Thanks, Judy. Judy. Really appreciate all your support. Ella says you can use the sheets for lasagna. Yes. 
Marzi says, there's my Mrs. Duran shining through with a super thanks and love hearts. You're amazing. Aww, yes. Thank you so much, Mrs. D. And so are you, Mr. Marzi Mars. So are you, Marzi. Ellen's awesome keto world. Hello, Ellen. How are you? <laughs> Good morning, at least morning in SoCal, Southern California. Uh, Judy's dropping hearts. Hope is dropping hearts. Carol says, would you warm it? How would you warm it up for a meal? In the microwave. It's, it's sturdy. It doesn't melt. It, um, you can bake. Like, you know how you do lasagna? You can bake with it. Like, put it in your casserole dish with the sauce and the cheese and the whatever. You can bake with it. You can um, reheat it in the microwave. Oh, it's great. Oh, sorry. Okay, hey, Cheryl is uh, saying, will you write down the ingredients you use to make this pasta? I missed it somehow. Yes. Yep, so we'll stick I'll, the... I'll do it in the comments. Yeah, we'll stick it in the comments. Um, I was going to say you can screenshot this, but... Uh, and no one can read your handwriting, love. I can barely read my handwriting. So I don't blame Ah, and you should stop eating the pasta. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, so Cheryl, yes, we will write the ingredients down. Uh, Anna is asking, what is your favorite dish? Well, She's dead. asking you. You're the, you're the um, host today. Okay. Uh, Anna, are you asking me or Mel? <laughs> oh, you. Oh, my pasta's ready. Either that or it's time for final jeopardy. Oh, no, that's, that's worthy of a, a bit more of a close-up there. Hopefully you guys can, ooh, can see this okay. <laughs> Lily says that sounds like a siren. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alan says he loves a good pasta recipe. Marzi says I have to return the apron because my time is up. Branding, branding, branding. So, Happily. There we go. You Thank want me to you. tie the back? No. You good? Yes. Must I put my other apron back on? Yeah. Why I, not? My bra. It, ex it accentuates your curves, apparently. <laughs> I'm curvy and I like it. No, oh, that's wrong. It's not. It's right. I feel like I'm putting... No, come do it here so everybody no, can see you how awkward you're being. My suspenders on the wrong way or something. <coughs> uh, Lily says that sounds like oh that sounds like a siren. Yes, it was. <laughs> it's the fire brigade coming, Lily. Cheryl says thank you. Uh, Carol says they need more than one apron. Yes, we do, and we are definitely going to get some more. We now have the perfect hookup with Mr. Marzi Mars. Anna says no. Ah ha 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 ha. I'm asking both of you, so you can go first. Um. I honestly don't know how to answer that. I post my favorite uh, meals, things that I love, because I think somebody else will love it. Um, what the fuck? Did you just? I'm, I'm sorry if no, you might. No, come, come here. Come here, because please don't do any more. Please come here. Did you answer Anna? I will answer Anna. Yeah, we're, we're getting roasted because uh, someone said, Vic said, that we were promised a Mr. Mel cooking show. I don't know what I've done. How did you get that wrong? Okay, I think we're right now. There we go. You're right. I'm all right. Hey, I have to do this. You can't do it. I did it, but I also messed it up. I don't know what's going on with your sheet, to be honest. I mean, I made two sheets and they turned out fine. I don't know what's going on with I'm yours. Try this. We've, we've had a train smash here, people, because my sheet, and that's an interesting uh, observation, actually. If I pick this up, it's going to collapse even further, but my sheet I think we has ruined come it. to grief. We ruined it uh, the first time and it just hasn't recovered. But... You know, give someone lemons, they're going to make lemonade. Yeah. I'm going to... You cut it up anyway and you... You go and do the comment things and I will... I will make some lemonade here because... 
I can just simply, using my skill and expertise here, I can just simply cut this around the imperfections and make pasta. You're supposed to be cutting lasagna sheets, aren't you? Oh, am I? Okay. Well, if you... <laughs> Look, I'm, uh, it's versatile. So I've made fettuccine, right? That's, that's done. I uh, will make... That's also fettuccine. It's just that... We've made slightly <laughs> thinner fettuccine. We'll now make... We've also made spaghetti. Okay. Interesting point to note though, mine is nowhere near as strong as yours. And that's what I was saying with the chicken. Maybe that's the difference. Yeah, like mine's, you were rolling yours all around and doing all that kind of stuff. I mine's was. literally, I mean, it tastes fine. You want to taste some? Yes, I want to taste some. I love it. Have this some pasta. fettuccine. It, love it's, it. I don't know if it tastes different to the spaghetti, but. Mm. Right, so, lasagna um. sheets. Um, the, my pasta has a slight chicken taste, that's why I was saying it makes me dream of um, chicken alfredo or carbonara, one of the two. Oh, Vic, <laughs> Vic says, hey, we were promised a Mr. Mel cooking show. So... I'm here, Vic. Killing it, I might add. I think uh, I might be a bit of a control freak when it comes to cooking. You are. <laughs> I, and I'm glad. And I'm so glad you kicked me out of the kitchen. I'm glad that other people are seeing this. I'm still trying to think of Anna's question. What's your favorite dish? Oh, Anna dish? said, what's your favorite dish? Yes. Now, mine. Sorry for the noise. I've uh, got to think about it too, actually. I think my, does it have to be a, like a main meal or just can it be say, a dessert? Just say what you think. My favorite keto thing ever is that strawberry pretzel. The pretzel dessert, dessert we have every thing. Christmas. Yeah. And the one that I pissed you to make on other days. Gosh, that is so simple too. So there we are. It's a bit small, but it's a lasagna sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if, if you were making a lasagna for one, you know, you could like have your sheet, put your stuff on and then, you know, layer. Yeah. I have no idea how to make a lasagna, but I think that sounds good. And then this, we'll just call the, the remnants. It's very frail. Like it's literally falling that. apart. In my, if I hold this up for too long. I see what you mean. Apart. And the question then is, with the almond flour, should we add about a half teaspoon of gelatin to help it along? Possibly, yeah. And probably with pecan flour too, if you are going to um, use pecan flour. But the thing is too, is that this is this was a good test. Like I've actually got to exert yeah. quite a bit of force. Mine, mine's got like elas you can elasticity. See it's springy before it actually breaks. Get out of the way. Yeah, you do. Um, I also feel like if you put this in sauce, even as strips, like a fettuccine kind of strip in a sauce, it's just going to disintegrate. Nonetheless. So we think add a half teaspoon of gelatin if you're using a nut flour. Yes. But I would call that a 99% sassy. I just picked it up. I looked at it funny and it fell apart. Uh, I would call that a nine, maybe a, an 80% pass, right? What do you reckon? Yes. Yeah. I would say so. So there we go, people. I made pasta of sorts. Not as good as this one, but it's, it will do the trick. <laughs> Look at this. Just, just look at this. What have you done? <laughs> I've literally picked it up and put it down. Do you, and look, look at it. It looks like an absolute train wreck. But you know that like with people with their first try of this recipe, often they don't know like how well it's supposed to cook, how to gauge. And so they run into 
all sorts of like this, this is the most common problem but the other problem too is a faulty um, silicone mat some people find that um, it sticks to the silicone mat and nothing is supposed to stick to a silicone mat um, well see this did stick to it but that's just literally a liquid so I would say it wasn't cooked properly the fault's not with the silicone mat the fault. All right, any more comments there? Hello? Um, sorry, I am typing out the recipe for Cheryl. Okay. Um, so what are you going to, what would you, if this happened to you at home, what would you do with this now? Me? Or you, yes. Me? Yes. Probably throw it away. Really? Yeah. Well, actually, no, I'd probably just like, I don't know, reconvene it and use it for something else. Because it really doesn't look like pasta to me. It doesn't? Well, it's not, put it this way. You can fake the kind of look of pasta, but it's not going to perform no, as a pasta it's should. Not, it is like, not pasta. Compare the difference here. I have a... Every time I look at it, it falls apart some more. I've basically got a board full of, of a car accident and you've got perfect pasta. So why would I? So oh, you're disappointed because yours didn't turn out like mine. I'm wrapped that it actually turned out like anything, to be honest. But I don't think we can call that pasta. Yeah. Sure. I think we, do you know what, if that happened to me and it's that I just started the keto diet, I would literally just cut that up as best of that as I can, add it to a thing of sauce, because when it goes into my mouth, I'm still I tasting. I feel like that's just going to melt if you put it in sauce. Right, I'm going to swap places with you. Um, just one second, I am <clears throat> just about to transfer. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. just sending the recipe through. Okay, oh, come. Sorry, you look like you're waving me down for, for assistance. Me? No, yeah. I was typing. Okay, well, we are going to get rid of this. So, oh, I see what he means now. It's just not salt. It's almost like it's not cooked. And maybe the other thing too is that Aside from adding half teaspoon of gelatin, you might need to cook it for longer because it looks like it actually hasn't cooked. Interesting. That's the first time I've got such a variation in results between the almond flour and the chicken flour. Surprise. Okay, there's a lot of comments. Yes. Yeah. No, I didn't need this after all. <laughs> he did great. <laughs> okay. Uh, you never answered Anna after all that, by the way, of what your favorite dish was. I'm going to go with the Sichuan bang bang chicken recipe with noodles. Okay. Uh, now. Carnivores Carolyn says taco shells. Okay, so when when you take your pasta sheet and you bake it in the oven, they go a bit crispy, um, like like a pie crust, like um, hardened taco shells. If that's that makes sense, I should really just show this to you. Um, so you can get an idea of what I'm saying. Okay, Vic says, ha ha. Uh, Marzi says, yes, Lily, the siren is needed due to a little mishap in the past, but it's not for me to elaborate on. <laughs> so, uh, who was asking about taco shells? Uh, Carnivorous Carolyn. Oh, so Carolyn, just this is the overbaked edge, right, that I've just cut off. But you'll be able to see it actually crackles a little bit when it's overdone. So you can you can so do this um, if you want a substitute 
for taco shells. Why not? Okay, uh, Louis says maybe Chris should wear a straight jacket instead of an apron, but it looks lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen says the apron is very cute. Uh, Anna says I think I heard him say WTF. <laughs> <laughs> no, Anna, you did not hear that at all. Uh, Carol says maybe you didn't let it cool for long enough. Uh, yes. Chef says I think it didn't turn out because you made Chris wear that apron. Could not agree more. Uh, Ella says, roll it, Chris. I don't think that would have helped, Ella. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very crumbly, that one. Marzi says, Mel doesn't know what happened to Christo's watch. Uh, sheet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carol says, make ravioli. I think that might be a... Oh, yeah. Oh, Danielle's back. Sorry I missed so much. No worries, Danielle. Uh, Ellen says, most of the time my wife watches over me and gives me pointers. Nice. Does it make you nervous like it makes me nervous, Ellen? Look at Marzi this. Says, Overcooked. Hey, that's almost like chips. Almost like chips. They're, it's falling to the counter. Marzi says, at Carol, uh, mm, yummo ravioli, yes please. What is your choice of filling? Great to know you're interested in the apron too. <laughs> Marzi also says, can I get a round of applause for Master Chef Mr. Mel? Let's see those hands. <laughs> well done. Oh, lots of people are giving hands. Thank you everybody, you're too kind. Lily says, you should put it in the microwave with a bit of butter to see which one holds up better. Hope loves Carol's idea of ravioli. Uh, Anna says, no, you didn't. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Ellen says, not about the looks, it's about the taste. Well, it actually tasted pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Paula says, oh, no, don't throw it away, Chris. You see, I think a lot of people would make that work somehow. I'd probably just add a little bit of oil and then it makes it easier to scrape into the bin. Uh, Ella says, lasagna, no waste of food, it's hidden under meat and sauce. Marzi says, you could very well still use that as a deconstructed pasta dish. <laughs> it's, he's right, he's actually not joking. Uh, there's so many. Uh, Paul says, uh, sorry, Paul says, just make it look like the side dish pasta in the packs that are only two inches long and a nice cream based sauce. Carol says, no, just cut it up, mix it into the sauce, you wouldn't know, and it gets smaller in your mouth. Uh, Lynn says, I give Chris 100 for effort, you're right, Mel, it's first time. Aw, everyone's being so nice. Yes. I expected they'd really get roasted. Vic says, let's just call it rustic shaped pasta. I like that, Vic, thank you. I feel like I sabotaged him, though, with giving him the almond flour version. It I'm feel, sorry. It feels like a setup. Like I, I, I feel like I set him up. <laughs> but I really literally had no idea. Uh, Daniel says, I made about 30 sheets, cut them into segments the size of the pan. I wanted to bake my lasagna in and froze them. I thawed them out about a month ago and they still taste awesome. Brilliant. Hope says, A for effort, Chris. <laughs> Christiane says, oh my god, we've just witnessed the creation of a new culinary <laughs> a new culinary treat, pasta pate. <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. <laughs> uh, hope. Oh no, sorry. Da, 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 da. Sandy Reed, down time got away from me. I've been cleaning my food truck. Well it's nice to have you here anyway, Sandy. <laughs> You're missing out, by the way. It's time to get in quick. Danielle blended Italian herbs into some of hers and it made an awesome flat pizza, very thin crust. Ah, oh, there you go. Chef uh, says, Sandy, my, oh, um, Sandy, my current project is a shuttle bus conversion. Nice. 
Lily says, or oh, feed it to the poor, feed it to the dog, poor dog. <laughs> Our dog will eat anything and he'll think I'm an absolute master chef. Uh, da, 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 da. Mrs. H says, just use it, it will work. Carol says, look how much Chris has taught us all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I feel like quite a few people are going to be going away from this live slightly dumber than when they arrived. Do you want to come and work with this one instead? And do what with um, it? Just whatever you want. And uh, um, you want to make lasagna sheets? Well, you know, I can cut it know, the same way as the last one. Do you but... know what you should do? Is put some water in this as a test and microwave it for two minutes and show everybody if it dis disintegrates. Yeah, how, much, how much water? Oh, just like... I how feel much... like you could just like simply do this. Well, it's, it's your cooking show, as Vic pointed out. My deal was to come on and make pasta, which, which, I, which I clearly didn't. You did. But... I won't cut this up. Two yet. minutes. Yeah. Two. So I think two minutes the water will be heated up. Why don't I just turn that around and then we can both go on this side of the bench. Yeah. I reckon. How does that work for everyone? Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Carol says, yes, pretend it was your sheet, Chris. Yeah, so look, here's one I made earlier. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to get a drink. My. Uh, yeah, so lasagna noodles. This is actually really sturdy. Well, if I bend it, it's really sturdy. Huh. I'm, I'm loving the chicken results, um, the chicken blend results and everything. I don't know how, if you've baked with it at, or cooked with it, I don't know how you find it, but isn't it like really surprising? That's the part for me that amazes me every time and it makes it such a pleasure to cook because you think, you know, you don't expect such great results. Have you seen Marzi's comment? No. Christo, that apron, it is growing on me though. I don't know. It's got its, uh, it's, got its pluses and minuses. Sandy Reed says, my main salad is blooming onions. That's interesting. Sandy says, favorite apron yet, Mel. Oh, I don't know if you saw my apron. Mozzie Moz got it for me. Beautiful gift. Something I feel almost bad wearing. I feel like I should hang it and frame it or something. Oh, you got to wear it. Rock it. It looks cool. I don't want to ruin it, though. Are you are. I mean, you haven't. I haven't ruined any others. This is apparently, according to the chef, they're now going to call this red red carbon fiber. Oh, that's that's really hot. Put it on here. Now I want them to see. You can see that it is steaming. Um, I'll come round so I can get the get the best view. Don't know. No, it's okay. I've got old hands. But you can see that steaming, and the pasta hasn't. Oh, sorry. Oh gee, the pasta hasn't disintegrated. Um, if I can lift one up now, this part was peeking out, but that was submerged into the water, and it's still there. It's still good. Uh, how many carbs would the almond flour recipe have been? Carol is asking. Um. If you, I, do, I don't know, but it is on the original recipe. Um, it's a, it is a couple of carbs, I think. Um, yeah, it's, if you search for Keto Pasta uh, 2.0 Cook with Mal, you will get the recipe and as usual, all the uh, nutritional information is on there. Uh, Lily says if you let the pasta dry a bit, you could then put it in a pasta machine for spaghetti. Lily, could okay. You, yeah. Could you do that? Could you put it in um, a pasta machine? The problem, I, th I think with the chicken flour, the chicken flour one, it's not sticky. 
but all the others, trust me, all of them are sticky, but you could and it might looks, get away with it, it looks with the solid. chicken with the chicken flour blend because um, that is actually really smooth. You can see I am not being gentle with it. Um, but yeah, you might get away with that with the chicken flour blend. Um, uh, Mazima says, Mel, I'd love to see you make some beef, mushrooms, and onion tortellini with this recipe. Goodness me. That sounds nice. Uh, Ella says, is yours made with the almond flour or the chicken flour, Jamel? Now, the one I made prior, it's this one, that was the chicken flour. And Chris made the almond flour one, which wasn't so sturdy. And I think... Um, so I was saying, add a half teaspoon of gelatin into, um, if you're going to use a nut flour in your CK flour, add a half teaspoon what of gelatin. I don't think it was that much of a disaster. It was too soft in one area. You managed to make about three squares out of that. So don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Thank you. <laughs> you're so lovely. I am so lovely. Um... Marzi says, no way, your uh, apron was made to be worn and he'll organize another when needed. Nice. Lily says she is lazy. I kind of get that feeling about Lily. Uh, oh. Lily says she's lazy. I just want to use my pasta machine, LOL. Sandy says, woohoo, less than 5,000 away from 100K subscribers. Yes, yes, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Oh, my. Imagine... <laughs> Imagine what a, I, I want to be, I can't wait for the live for when we hit um, 100k. Chris and I will be ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for the noise. You, you see, I don't think we should go live when we hit 100k because anything could happen. Then we will need safety equipment. I think we'll just about be standing beside ourselves. Yeah, literally. Well, at least you know where to find us. I'll be over there on the edge of my seat. Uh, Carol says you did a great job. Carol, you're such a, a sweetheart. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Ella says, ah, okay, thank you, dear Mel. Marzi says, too right, that's why we purchase our toys. <laughs> oh, and Hope is applauding. Yes, Ron, we are doing a giveaway at 100k. We are definitely. Uh, Marzi says, thumbs up, please. Hit your like, please. Smash that like button, people. All right. Well. Well, we did it. We did it. You High did five. it. You did it. Well, well done. Now. We, we, we have shown you some pasta options. No, the, honestly, this is a great solution if, um, if you just want something quick, um, just want something, you know, to be a good substitute for pasta. Say your whole family's having pasta and you can't obviously have any. This is really good because most of us, we are cooking for the whole family. And then you, you know, it's a bit hard to then go and make something special for yourself. But if you just make a pasta sheet and then add um, a keto friendly sauce that you can make for your whole family, this it's really good. Yeah. So Sandy says, when you reach 100K, you should make a cake in your life. Sandy, I can only hope that you're, you're talking about Mel making yeah. a cake in the life. The last, tell them about the last time you made a cake. The last cake I made came out really good. He, you know, he was so, like he is now, he was now, he was so precise and pedantic, right? He made a cake. Was it, what was that cake for? Christmas. The, the last cake I made, thank you, was a red velvet cake. Not a keto cake, but it was a red velvet cake. I'm remembering the one that a friend of ours um, dared you to bake, and then you went to a recipe a cake for dummies or something. Oh, the, the one for Christmas. Yeah, so uh, we had Christmas one year with a bunch of our friends, and everybody was obviously making a dish to take. To this Christmas and I got challenged by a good friend of mine to make a a chocolate cake I don't think it was actually to just make any cake but I basically uh, googled cake for dummies and 
followed it step by step by step by step with a trusty overseer by my side. So I made this lovely chocolate cake, double layer, had nice icing in the middle, it had strawberries decorating it on top. What was the stuff that I put on top? Ganache? It, it was iced, it looked really, really nice. So I take this cake and we go to the Christmas, the Christmas lunch and there's a whole table of food, of everything. People have bought trifle and obviously there's meat dishes and potato salad and everything else. At the end of that afternoon, every other dish was demolished. My cake had one piece and eaten I, from I it. I think I had it. No, I had it. Not even my wife had another piece just to say, oh, you know, be supportive. I'm the only person that ate that, that cake that day. I think your friend tipped everyone off not to touch the cake. Somebody sabotaged me, I'm sure of it. Yeah. But I was soul destroyed. I put my heart and soul into that. So, Sandy, <laughs> we'll keep that one up the sleeve. I might have another crack. Ah, uh, Lucia, you're here. Hi, Lucia. Kisses. Uh, where are we? See, it keeps jumping all the time. Sorry, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Lily says, I don't think your pasta was a disaster. Sometimes making a mistake lets you learn the right way to... Yes. That See? is very true. That's what I said right at the start. With your support, I feel like I can do anything. Carol says, so what would your quick source... What? So what would your quick source would you do with it? What quick source would you do with it? Um, honestly, cream, garlic, um, I have to have garlic in my pasta, some kind of herb, your meat, and uh, possibly, like I, some, I do like to, some vegetables now and again, and I, I like to put um, broccoli, maybe a little bit of carrot, a little bit of onion. I tend to never um cook with more than a third cup of onion or carrot just because those are the vegetables that are a little higher in carbs so I, you know i think a little bit you know is okay so i always use a third cup and then maybe some chicken maybe some bacon <laughs> so uh Marianne says, great job, Chris. It definitely was a learning experience. Both versions provided great insight. Nice. They did. Uh, Alan says, should do a regular segment. It's so easy. Chris can make it. <laughs> I don't know about a regular segment, Alan. Look, he's going red in the face. <laughs> I don't know about a regular segment, but I have done two videos on the channel already. One was the, uh, the bagels and one was hot dog buns. But considering that we've now got 300 videos, don't you guys think that two is a bit shy of like a good contribution? I feel like I just threw my own self under the bus with that. But that's why Marzi keeps saying. Yeah, Marzi has asked and a couple of other people have asked when I'm going to do another video. And you've been, I won't say that you've been, someone asked if you get hair in, hair in the food. Uh, you've been suggesting for some time that I do another video. I think you are overdue. Yeah, I've just about finished the rap lyrics for the intro for that, so it will be coming soon. Uh, where are we? Da, 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 da. Sounds like a Carol cake. Carol says, sounds like a cake off. That could actually be it, the 100k cake off. We'll make a cake each, see who comes out on top. Sandy says, yes, cake off. Danielle used your original recipe from a year and a half ago, two years ago. I know it was a while ago. <laughs> I still use that today to make my lasagna. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, Ron says, how about challenging each other to make a mystery cake? That's an idea. Carol says, so sad. What's so sad? What's I, so wonder, sad I wonder what's so sad. <laughs> His past. Oh, no, my, uh, probably my cake at the Christmas. Oh, right. That little boy in the corner just holding his cake. Why does nobody love me? Uh, Chef says mistakes just to make the experience more real. Yes, they do. You know, all uh, jokes and things aside, my kind of theory on it is like, yes, it didn't come out perfect, but I would give it another go. You know, if, if that turned out like that, I would probably have another crack at doing it. 
maybe get some help to do it, but I'd, I'd persevere until I got it right. I feel like it's easy enough with do the right you, ingredients. Have you tasted no, this? No, I haven't tasted this one. It's I tasted the other one. Really? Like. But what they say is right. If I can do it, literally anybody can do it. And um, I was so close to getting it okay mm. that I feel like anybody who's got even a, and I have zero cooking skill or interest in cooking whatsoever. My theory is if you're not interested in something, you're no good at yeah. it. Yeah. But anybody who's got even a mite of interest in cooking, you'll be able to nail this no problem. What do you think of the taste of this pasta? Are you getting a chicken taste? Not at all. I got like this, um, you know, like chicken spice. Not that there's actually chicken in it, but it's almost like I put chicken uh, flavor in it, like a little bit. You want to know what's weird? Why? I get a cheesy taste, it's, but it's got no cheese in it. It's got cream cheese in it, which does yeah, doesn't, but it doesn't taste. It like, doesn't taste like cheese. No, I don't know. It's weird. I get a. Okay, uh, Marzi says, mm, mystery cake, your idea has just turned you the best, what, best original idea award, <laughs> bravo. Chef says, yes, you threw yourself under the bus there, Chris, I know, right, I just, I do it so often. Carol says, uh, yes, the Christmas cake story. Judy just made toast from her nut butter bread and it's so good, nice. Lucia said, oh no, I, we need someone to translate that. Sorry Lucia, we are, when we're live, we cannot trans uh, translate your comment. I'm so sorry, <laughs> we don't know what you just said there. Um, yeah, maybe somebody can translate. Uh, contributor muto para a minha dia. And Mas You Mas just made a meal of that. Uh, Marzi, your comment was deleted. We just were able to uh, view a portion of the held back comment. Uh, bravo, Christo, for stepping up and showing off your culinary skills. Attention room, can I get another round of applause for Mr. and Mrs. Mal? That is what you said, but it is grayed out. I don't think anyone can see it. Can I get rid of that so we can see? Huh? Oh, oh no, the chat's gone. Help. What are you doing? Talk, talk amongst yourselves. It disappeared, so I'm just trying to get it back. Judy said she just made toast from the four ingredient nut butter bread. I was showing off about Judy's bread that looked like a, it was so perfect. It looked like a cartoon bread. Um, and she's just saying that she made a beautiful, the toast came out beautiful. She made toast with it. So check the camera. Sorry. Uh, the thing says it's gone off. Ah, oh, Ron, uh, Ron translated it for us. Lucia's comment, your recipes contribute a lot to my diet. Very grateful. Thank you, Lucia, and thank you, Ron. Thank you so much. Oh, I love, I love that I can help. Okay. Oh, Chef F. Graham says, yes, you threw yourself under the bus there, Chris. I already read, see, this is a proof that you don't listen to me. I already read that. I was trying ago. to decipher Lucia's um, comment. Okay. Well, we're up to date. And Danielle's waving and saying hi. Well, shall we end it there, guys? I think uh, we've made a, a spectacle out of poor Chris now. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> It's all right. It's fun. It's fun. Happy to oblige. <laughs> okay, well. What, what do you want me to make next? No, I'm not even going to go there. I will go and shut this down. They said birthday cake. Birthday cake. They said 100k. But between now and then. It's not far away, judging by how things are going. And what are we going to do on the next life? And uh, now we will we will come up with something very good for you guys. Um, I do, we haven't um, explored well I haven't done much cakes for you guys so I'm still thinking about something exciting for next week so um, watch the space but do check out the title when we post up um, you know a preview of the live because um, we would have nutted down something that 
might be really interesting. We don't, you know, we do plan our lives. We don't just go live and hope for the best. We want you to have a good time and maybe just learn something new either from us or from somebody in the in the live show in the audience because everybody's just so great with their contributions. So thank you so much, guys. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to party when we hit 100K and I hope you're having a great weekend and you have a wonderful week ahead. We will see you real soon. Ciao. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>